Okay, we're gonna go over uh, how to make a Swiss seat. And so basically, uh, Swiss seat is a class two harness. It's used in the uh, smoke diver class at the fire academy. And we're gonna show you how it's done today. So you'll take your 20 foot piece of one inch webbing out of your uh, turnout pocket. And if you have it daisy chained, you'll, you'll go ahead and undo your daisy chain. Sling it out and get all the kinks and twists out of it. And he's already got his center point right there. The loop is the center point, so there's no need to waste any time finding the center point of the, you know, the 10 foot piece of webbing. And so basically what you want to do is try to get uh, one piece longer than the other. So what you will do is just kind of work the webbing to where you'll have a short end and a long end. So about a foot needs to come up a little higher. You'll have about a foot longer than the other yeah about right there so then he will come back up to his loop and now he will make his leg loops and it's just a simple overhand knot maybe a little bigger before you really tighten your knot you want to kind of make make it pretty accurate to your legs little I'd go a little a little bit bigger maybe a hair and if you're doing these dressing drills with uh, your gear on you obviously want them a lot bigger than you know your, your regular duty pants so yeah that's about right now he will take his long end yep yeah, that's the long end and you see where his hand is the knot that is going to be the knot on one side of the leg loop this is where your knot is going to be on the other side yeah you want it a little bit longer yeah about right there take it out some it's a little too long about right there the reason why you want this this side longer than this because you have to keep in mind you have to do the overhand knot it's going to take up some of the slack so now he will tie his Overhand knot in that side, and they should be close to the same. All right, now he will hold the knots. I'm going to hold these. The knots should be put tight. All right, see where it see that the knots are about the, the same. That's what you want. Now you will lay it on the ground. And when you get ready to go to Smoke Diver, they will have you, they will let you have uh, this already set up like this. So basically once you get your turnout bottoms on, you step in it. So now he'll go ahead and step in it. Notice the length. He'll go ahead and pull that all the way up. He'll take the long end and he will come around the back side of his body. He'll take the short end in the front. Now he will do an overhand knot. I mean a, a square knot. Right over left, left over right. Or left over right, right over left. Nope, 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 nope. Follow the, follow the webbing. And you bring the other end and come around and the same thing. Square knot, pull it tight, and that's it, and he is ready. And he will take that, the two pieces right there, he, that's where his carabiner will hook in. Yes, right there. So now we have this set up over here. Now this is just a, a little mini figure eight. That's a mini figure eight. That came out of my bailout kit. So if you're right-handed, basically come through the underside of the figure eight and you're taking it and coming right back. We'll pull it tight and we'll show them. And that's what it's gonna look like in the rope. So you see that's what it's gonna look like right there. And now he will take this and he will hook to this webbing around both loops. And now he will hook into there to his figure eight. Now he will lock his carabiner. 
And now the way this works is if, if he wants to repel, this will go straight up. The higher you go, the faster you go. If he wants to break, he will take he will take that line and he will put it behind him and he will sit in it and he should not move. So that should break. It. But that's it.